the only person out there who still has to pinch himself when he gets to his truck because I still feel very fortunate to have this truck this is a dream truck of mine every time I look at it I just can't get over that it's mine I am proud of it all right guys good morning welcome back to the channel i'm in a good mood tonight i don't know why but i just am finally got me some good sleep the other night and i think that might be why but anyways we're starting the week uh and we uh yeah we're heading to pick up the next well the first load for the week and then we're gonna get on down the road My wife and I made a deal. Uh, you know, I really need to lose some weight. I know it really comes as a surprise to all you people out there watching. You're like, oh man, but you got the body of a of an Olympic swimmer. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to lose any weight. What are you talking about? I know. I, I do. I do. You're right. But uh, it would benefit me to uh, lose a little. Shed a few pounds, as they say. So, uh, we made a deal, the wife and I. Uh, once I lose about 100 pounds, because I, I got it to spare, uh, I can go out and buy a Corvette. I've always wanted I've wanted a Corvette for a long time. I've always been a Corvette guy, but I've never owned one. Every time I, you know, have the money to go buy a Corvette, I end up buying something different. Like I don't know why. I can never bring myself to buy one. And I think it's kind of like one of those like you never want to meet your hero kind of scenarios. You know, like I want to, you know, I want to buy it, but I'm afraid if I do, I won't enjoy it as much as I think. Uh, you know, like I've been, you know, like I'll go out and t I'll go out to buy a Corvette, or you know, with the intention of looking at a Corvette or something, and I end up buying a Lexus. You know, <laughs> so it's like or a Cadillac or something like that. Um, 
I don't know, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go. Yeah, that's that's kind of the, that's the goal. That's the goal right now. Is to uh, lose that weight and go buy that car. Um, now, I'm, that's not to say that I won't be open to the possibility of finding something different. <laughs> but uh, you know, something that I, you know had even you know like basically a fun car. Uh, something fast, something fun. But honestly, right now, I just don't know if I can even get in a Corvette that well. Not very comfortably, anyway. Uh, honestly, the, a, a Corvette that I'd love to have is a C5 Z06. Um, or even a C5 Anniversary Edition. Uh, the 50th Anniversary in 2003. Um, it had the... Uh, I don't know the, the, the exact color, but kind of a burgundy with bronze, kind of like a light bronze finish on the wheels and an all tan interior. That car, to me, is one of the most beautiful C5s to ever come out of Kentucky. It is just a beautiful car. Uh, and that's what I'd love to have is something like that. Uh... Or a C6 Grand Sport. Those are kind of the two that I'm that I'm most interested in. So we'll just have to see. But man, I'm looking on. You know, I've been looking at you know, inspiration online, things like that. And I'll tell you what, you know, there's some other vehicles that I kind of am interested in. have to we'll just have to see I guess I got a long time I got a while to think about it so uh, but I am all right down since we made that uh, we made that agreement or that that deal I'm already down about 10 pounds and right now it's kind of easy to lose weight with what I'm doing because I'm not Oh my gosh, these bumps are making me a little angry. A little angry. The way it is right now, I'm not, you know, I'm not sitting very often at all. Uh, so I don't really have time to just eat out of boredom. And that's what I was doing before, was eating out of pure boredom. You know, I'd be sitting there for hours at a dock, and even if I'm not hungry, I'd start eating. And that's terrible. Uh... You know, and I, you know, so I'm, I'm not doing that now. I swear to God, I'm going to tip one more time. One more time, I'm going to warm up the back of my hand. So, yeah, um, I'm, you know, I'm pretty optimistic about, about it. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, yeah. But like I said, though, that'll be a little bit down the road. Oh, come on, light. Why didn't you give me a green too? Huh? Huh? Come on, you inconsiderate son of a... Oh man, guys, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that fog out there is kind of cool looking.
say badly. I mean, it was still a pretty good setup. Like, you know, 500 horsepower, all that stuff.
guys. Well, we're going to go to the truck here real quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try downloading, uh, re-downloading the, the, uh, that tune. Uh, it still says it's on the economy tune, but it just doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like it. it somehow I feel like the, like it canceled it out when I turned the battery off. I don't know why, but we're going to go check it out. And, um, yeah, so let's go do that. here we are <clears throat> just gotta start the truck up and turn the wheel a little bit so we can get inside the in front of the tire there maybe well, what's wrong with you door all right so right now we're just gonna go ahead and turn the key on and uh Unplug this, plug it back in, since it doesn't want to do it itself. Okay. See, it's on the economy setting right now. And here's power and stock, but you know, let's put it on power. Programming, programming could take up to 60 minutes. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, so we'll let that do its thing. I'm gonna try to put that license plate frame on there now. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a box end wrench. That's the only thing I can think of that's gonna be able to get in there um, to the back of the bumper, to the uh, nut. So let's see if we can find one in the Jeep somewhere. I hope we can. But we'll just have to wait. We'll, have, we'll just have to see, I guess. Um, we'll just have to see. It's going to be kind of fun because the uh, the struts on my tailgate on the Jeep have gone completely out. So there's nothing to really hold the tailgate up. Maybe I can use the spare tire too. We'll see. But See, you can see the little progress bar right there in the blue. It's coming along. See, it goes right here on these two bolts. But I have to be able to get something to the back of the bumper to hold the nut while I turn those bolts. see what we can do all right we'll see if we can use this spare tire to hold up the gate hmm. there we go that works these old shocks right here gotta throw these out this one is this is one of the ones on the very back axle you can see look how it barely pushes itself back up that one was definitely bad and then that one right there is fully collapsed so yeah Well, guys, I think I maybe uh, will have satisfied some of my viewers. Finally, I, you know that's 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 my goal is to I get up every morning and I go to bed every night thinking, what can I do to make sure my viewers are happy? Well, check this out. Yes, the plate's still right here, but I got myself the bracket. Got it on there now. So got to get this to there that was kind of a pain in the butt though i had to keep opening and closing the hood so i could reach behind the bumper uh with another ratchet uh 
oh, or a box under ratchet. We got her. We got her. So let's go ahead and get that plate on that bracket, clean up that front end a little bit. All right, it's finished. We've got a front plate on an actual license plate bracket now, guys. It's looking legit. It's looking like a real truck now. No more, no more license plate on the grill. I like that. It looks good. It does. It honestly looks a lot cleaner. I knew it would, but it looks a lot cleaner like that. I didn't know. I, I thought with this bumper, I was going to have to drill into the bumper. I didn't want to do that. Um, but all I had to do was loosen, loosen those two bolts, um, which was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but I had, I just had to loosen those two bolts and then slide the, uh, bracket down into the behind the washers of those bolts and uh tighten it up and it was good to go so here we are we're finished all right let's go see what the computer's doing see if it's almost done yet or not Turn key off, press finished. Now I was kind of surprised. Well, maybe I spoke too soon here. Hang on. I'm not sure if it did anything. I mean, it should have, but the Wi-Fi wasn't on like I was... Okay. Installed. Power. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. <sighs> For the heck of it, let's start her up here. guys we got it we got the tuner tuned to power um, and i thought i needed to have it on wi-fi that's why i got a little confused there for a second because i it downloaded when i wasn't on wi-fi and then i put it on wi-fi this isn't my phone i got my phone there i put it on wi-fi uh connected to my hotspot on my phone thinking you know well crap i might have to do this all over again you know download the the software but you know or flash the computer um, but that's not the case. It will flash it without being on Wi-Fi. Uh, you just need the Wi-Fi to check for updates if uh, you have any updates that it needs. But it didn't. Checked for uh, checked for updates. No updates uh, found. So, um, so it's on power. Uh, we'll see how she runs tonight uh, when I get this load. And uh, I don't know exactly what it brings it up to. Um, from my understanding, around 600 horsepower. It's so a 1850 torque, maybe. Uh, it was running really good on that fuel economy setting. And that fuel economy setting, I want to say it was supposed to bring it up about to 550 horse. I'm not sure the torque. Um, but if it brings it up to 600 and whatever torque, you know, 1850 or more torque on the power setting, I'm pretty anxious to try it out um so yeah let's uh oh my hat's down there so yeah we're good to go guys uh i gotta remind myself not to turn off the switch on the battery anymore and that will make it it'll make it easy because well 
we're going to be mounting something to the other side of the frame. So, uh, I'm sure y'all can figure out what that's going to be. Not quite sure when yet. Uh, it's next week, I hope. But I've already made the deposit for it. Um, so, we're going to go get that put on next week uh, and see how, you know, it should save me quite a bit of fuel, uh, I'm hoping. The best miles per gallon I've gotten with this truck uh, uh, since I came over here was 5.8 miles per gallon. And that included um, about 11 hours of straight idle, bumped up idle, like 900 RPM idle. I got 5.8 MPG. Uh, I did the math. Had I not idled, um, you know, like if I had an APU, for instance, uh, I would have been around 6.3 MPG. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be a game changer for this truck. I mean, everybody talks about how terrible the fuel mileage is on these Caterpillars, let alone a Caterpillar and a Peterbilt 379, a brake on wheels. I mean, come on, guys. Is there any other way to describe it? A brake on wheels? 6.3 MPG on a truck like this? Um, I'll be more than happy, especially when before I did any of the tunes or anything like that, I was lucky to get... 5.2 um lucky to get 5.2 so yeah i can't wait to give it a shot i cannot wait anyways guys with that i'm gonna end the video here i'm gonna go home take a shower get a nap in get back on the road tonight so you all have it going out there take care stay safe and keep continuing to yeah, keep continuing to survive to thrive and we'll talk about you guys in the next video later